Marine Innovation Service is part of Falmouth Marine School, the Marine Specialist Campus of Cornwall College. We exist to support businesses with new projects, new processes, and specifically today we've been involved uh, in terms of supplying the machine uh, that we uh, bought from the Commerce Integration. Uh, and it's available as part of our service. Well, we're based in Saltash, so a local company, and we specialise in closed mold processes, so resin transfer moulding and infusion processes. And uh, we make machines that pump and mix resin in a controlled way and dispense them into moulds. So for an infusion process, it gives you the advantage of getting rid of the manual mixing operation and processing the resin directly into the mould in a controlled way. So all the fibres have been laid into the mould dry, with a foam core. Blue material on the top is then a flow medium which helps the resin to disperse across the laminates. The vacuum bag is down for the peel ply which helps communicate the vacuum and also make sure that the internal finish is good so that we don't stick any of the consumable stack onto the laminate. Around the outside of the model tool which is the active vacuum that's sealing all our flange boards and uh, mould joints basically. Um, that's run by one system and then we have another system which runs on a series of catch pots. Catch pots then lead to a primitive vacuum. Twin pump, 900 litre expansion tank feeds both the active vacuum and the um, perimetry vacuum. Can of sardines, is it? of a bag pressure here, yeah, just taking it from plump pipe work. And I will just go and check the other pressure. I'm just going to check this one, then we'll do a drop test and we'll check that one again. Yeah? This is the pressure of the active vacuum. And we're doing a drop test to see if the bag is sufficient to do the engine. Just inside where we were yesterday. Five point four minibar a minute. Two people in the bag. Yep. Yeah, just keep an eye out. Basically all you're looking for is any small bubbles coming from anywhere. So you can see them, they'll be tracking through the mesh, yeah? And basically you can track them. Obviously the bubbles are gonna be going up through the boat, yeah, or to the nearest vacuum. Yeah, so we might be coming this way, we might be going up the top side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So track the bubbles back, find the hole, put the back bag tape over it. Please leave the paper on the bag tape, because otherwise when you walk over it, you end up stepping on it and you rip a blue great hole in the bag. It really is a pain in the ass. If an inlet comes out, um, resin's not going to come out of it, other than out of the hose. So crimp the hose first, because that's where the pressure's coming from. Yeah? And get your hand over the thing and we'll fix it. Alright? It's not a biggie, but you know, hopefully we won't have anything like that happen. We've got more stayed up. You know, just be careful when you're in the boat, don't keep the hoses, don't trip over them. If we've got a major leak, we've got mesh and patches there. Yeah, obviously pink side down on the mesh. The catch what changes. Trip off the hoses. Switch off the valve. and a half on this side of length. Yeah. Well, it's quite nicely actually. We spent a lot of time this morning checking vacuum levels, drop testing the vacuum, making sure that the ratios of resin and hardener on the machine are coming out right. Lots of pop tests on the go. 
uh, button has been pushed, the resin is now flowing in through a series of manifolds. Uh, we're pumping the resin in through the inlet, starting in the keel and working up through a parallel system. So as we reach the next set of inlets, we'll turn the inlet off of the, the keel line and then part way up each side of the hull and across the underside of the bridge deck we have new inlet pipes that allows to continue the, uh, the infusion. Cure time on this resin at this temperature is going to be somewhere near six hours uh, under vacuum as a thin film. Uh, which is comparable to about three and a half, four hours uh, in a large lump in a pot. Uh, so plenty of working time, uh, but it will allow us to uh, potentially have the bottom part of the hole curing if we needed to while we're still infusing right at the top, the very last bit. Oh, it certainly beats buckets and brushes. Uh, wet. 
Bay's angle system and then back in consolidation. Another 20% maybe. Probably added more resin. But you'd also have taken potentially more time because you wouldn't necessarily have been able to do it all in one go. You'd have potentially had to have put the uh, the inner skin down, or the outer skin down and back that. Um, and then added core bonding. What we've just done with a, what, a ton of resin is mix it and dispense it into the mould in a controlled way without being exposed to the resin and without having to do any manual mixing or control. I think it went pretty well by the look of it. Yeah, I'm very happy about it.